Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can add a scanner on your Mac operating system and scan a document on your Mac operating system. So the first thing you need to note here is uh, you need to either have your scanner or printer on the same network as your Mac operating system. So if you are connected to a Wi-Fi, then your a Wi-Fi printer or scanner should also be connected to the same network. If you are using uh, the Ethernet cable or network cable, then also both your scanner and your MacBook should be connected to the same network. So once that's done, what you need to do is you need to open the system settings. You can open the system settings by clicking on this Apple logo and then select system settings from here. You can also click on the system settings icon on the dock to open the system settings window. Here, when you will scroll down, you will see this option which says printers and scanners. So I'm going to click on this option. Now, if you have already added any printer or scanner previously, you will see the list of all the printers and scanner under this uh, window. But Right now, I don't have any printers or scanners. So this list is empty for me. So let's add a printer or scanner first, and then we are going to see how we can scan our document. So when I click on add printer scanner, here I will be able to see the list of all the printers and scanners which are connected to the same network as my Mac operating system. And as you can see, I see one printer and scanner on my uh, list. So I'm going to select this option, which is a printer as well as a scanner. So just select that and then I'm going to click on add here, which is going to uh, set up this printer and scanner. And once that's done, you will see that uh, scanner or printer under the printers and scanner list. So you can see, I can see this uh, HP NV uh, printer and scanner here. So now I can just uh, click on this uh, printer. So this is the arrow, just click on this and then you will be able to see all these options. So now I want to scan something. So I'm going to uh, place a document under my scanner and then uh, you have this option here which says open scanner. So I'm going to click on open scanner here and it's going to wait for the scanner. And then you will see this kind of scanner window. Now here I can select where I want to save my scanned document. So I can select uh, documents folder here for, for example. And then what's the size of that? The default size is A4, so I'm going to leave it as default. And then I can even uh, click on show details and it's going to show me the details. And then I can also see the preview of my scanned document. So this is the document which I uh, put under my scanner. And you can see the document preview is available already here. I can also select the kind so I can make it uh, black and white and the scanned document will be black and white. I can change it to color or I can change it to text document, which looks like this. So this is the colored document. So I'm going to select color here. Resolution I can uh, change from here. So I can change the resolution to 100, for example, or I can uh, change it to the higher values, but I will leave it as default. Then I can even select the region which I want to scan, right? So this is uh, this selector crop line or rectangle, which I can uh, just uh, expand. I can resize and then I can select the area which I want to scan in the document. Here I can see the location where my uh, document will be saved. I can also change the format from here. So instead of JPG, let's say I want to select PDF. So I want to save this document as PDF. I can do that also. And uh, then 
it says combined into single document i can do that or i can even do the uh, ocr reading that means uh, if your document contains a picture and this that picture contains the text then the ocr is going to just read that text and convert that image into the text image right once you are happy with all these settings then click on scan which is going to scan the document and save it to the desired location in my case it's the document page so you can see it's scanning the document scanner is wrapping up and once the scanning is done then you can go to the location where your uh, uh, scanned uh, document is located as you can see in my case it's documents folder right so I will just open the documents folder here and here I can see this scan so I scanned uh, this document for example right now so I'm going to open it and it looks like this because I selected the smaller region earlier and then when I select on uh, scan PDF second one I can see my uh, scanned document here which I selected right so this is how you can scan a document on your Mac operating system I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video